ultimate competitor. The ability to score the ball. He just kind of dominated. Loves to play. Only thing he cared about doing was winning basketball games and being the best that he could be. Troy got here at the end of what I call the desert years, the 90s. When he got here, Notre Dame hadn't been to the NCAA tournament in eight seasons. We were way off the radar. We were 30 games under 500 in the Big East. We were kind of the whipping boy. Troy gets here, plays one season for John McLeod, and then McLeod is fired. Okay, new beginning. We had a tough year last year. Big East is, is crazy tough. Maybe this coach would be able to help us turn it around. And then he up and leaves and goes to North Carolina. And I remember Murph actually saying, it doesn't matter who comes in next. We're gonna go out here and win a lot of games. And we're gonna put this program back on the map. A lot of challenges, but you have Troy Murphy to coach for a year. I was very fortunate. He set the tone on a daily basis. And there were days he was very hard on his teammates. One of the first times we played, he caught me with an elbow and I got him back and we just go at it. And then after the game, he's like, we gotta be this way all the time. His skill level for a big guy was really unique. And he did that by being in the gym long hours every day, off season, during the season, in the pit, late at night, the security guards always used to come in and say, Murph was in the 2 a.m. last night, coach. Nobody really seen that side of him. They saw the side of, on the court, the finished product, but they didn't see the hours and hours that he put in. That's why he was a great player. You know, we used to do a thing after practice, uh, myself, Maddie, Dave, and Troy, where we'd shoot 50 threes in a row. And it was always kind of challenge each other a goal, see who could get 50. And I think Murph to this day still holds the record of making 49 out of 50. Yeah, well, Troy was just a, uh, an unbelievable player. You know, I was always impressed with him, obviously his athletic ability, his basketball skill. He can move, he's quick off the floor, he has fabulous hands and instincts and there's great toughness. Murphy to the baseline, all the way in and dunks it. Oh, wow. That's how you finish a drive. Now, when I think of Troy's toughness, I think of the Rutgers games, especially the first one he played in in New Jersey his sophomore year. It was a brawl. Knockdown, drag out brawl. On Rashad Kent, who took Murphy back into about the second. And it seemed like the entire state of New Jersey turned out at the rack and treated Troy like he was a traitor. I thought he was absolutely mugged on the court and he didn't get many calls. Rutgers had two huge frontline players and they basically beat the crap out of Troy for the entire game. The Irish being routed here in New Jersey. We all responded bad to losses, but he took that personal. It was a really, really dark night, but how tough was he? He got another shot. The most famous arena on earth, Madison Square Garden, as we continue with Big East tournament action. Murphy spins to the baseline and hits. Find the open lane. Murphy, nine rebounds, first three. Might have a double-double before halftime. In front of those people, in front, under those lights, people remember you. And um, I think that's what he tried to do that night. And Troy got his revenge. 25 points, 14 rebounds to lead Notre Dame to their first ever win in the Big East Conference Tournament. To get the road jerseys. Because we'll see the Irish tomorrow night. When you look at the foundation that this program is now based on and has been built on, the cornerstone of that foundation is Troy Murphy. It's always a challenge playing for three different coaches, different personalities, different systems, but I think we really grew together as a nucleus. I remember having a lot of fun. I remember winning a lot of basketball games and just enjoying our experience together here at Notre Dame. He's the guy to put this place back on the map. I'm always indebted to how loyal he has been to this university and our program. He set a great intense tone and a high bar to get us our first NSA tournament bid in a long, long time.